morning SVS. Today we have our Zinnia Seed Starter Project and today we're going to be going over the five easy steps on how we could get this started. So we do have our Zinnia seeds here. We have our soil. We have our biodegradable planter starter and this actually has a hole on the bottom for drainage purposes which is why we're going to use a clear plastic uh, cup. We're also going to have some water. You could actually fill up a cup, um, maybe a little bit halfway full, and then we'll be uh, putting it into our little planter when it's time. And we're also going to use plastic wrap to put on top when we're done with everything, with all the steps, and it'll create a greenhouse effect. Okay, so first step, we'll start off by opening the soil bag. There's normally a line inside of the biodegradable planter. You'll see right here, and we'll be using that to measure the soil. Okay, so there we are at the level line. So next we're going to make a little hole, which is going to be about one fourth deep. We're going to open our Zinnia seed bag. Okay, so we have our seeds here. We're going to go ahead and put them in the hole. Then we're going to cover them up. Okay, so our next step is we're going to put the biodegradable planter into the plastic cup. And we're going to add water, but not so much water that it's going to create a muddy effect because then it will shift the seeds. You see, it has started to drain a bit. So now we're gonna grab our plastic wrap. We're gonna cover the top completely just to give it that greenhouse effect. And there you have it. So remember guys to uh, keep this in the warm spot, but you don't wanna keep it in direct uh, sunlight. So you could keep it in the windowsill for the meantime and don't forget to write your date on your watering um, schedule. So today's the 29th. Now, if you're wondering when to water, just uh, daily you could check the soil. If it feels a little dry, you could add a little bit more water. But remember, not too much water, that it gets a muddy effect because then the seeds will start to shift. And for the final part of information, um, it takes about seven to 10 days for the uh, zinnia seeds to germinate. Uh, and when we say germinate, we mean for the seeds to sprout. So there you have it, guys. I hope that you found these five simple steps um, useful and we miss you and we can't wait for you guys to come back. That way we could, you know, work on more projects together. Thank you, guys.